Um, first, I'd like to welcome everybody to Hammond today. Uh, what a special moment for Jordan and his family. Um, most of the world has seen Jordan through his football and social media outlets that, you know, you blow up all the time. But the way I've got to see Jordan Birch as a person, as a student, as a scholar, as a great kid. Mom has raised him very well. Um, a leader among his peers. A hard worker. A kid who laughs. A kid who smiles. A kid who has a good time with his friends. Um, a kid. And moving forward, Jordan, you'll become a man with hard work, but keep those base values that you have brought to Hammond. And as a person, your, your athleticism speaks for itself. The person I've got to know is the person I've, I've, I, I love. And so, Jordan, I'm extremely proud of you, and I'm extremely uh, confident that you'll make the right decision for you. Um, and whatever decision you make, just like Mr. Angel said, will be the right decision. So, Jordan, good luck. We're super proud of you, and we love you, man. All right, when I'm done here, uh, there'll be a little bit of a pause, and then we're going to play a video that should stream live on ESPN, is that correct? And then Jordan will respond uh, when, he's, when he's talked to you by ESPN. But Jordan, we've talked a lot over the years, and it's been a blessing to coach you. And I just want to leave you with three things. Uh, I echo everything that Coach Barnes said, which is at the end of the day, so many people see college athletes, potential athletes as commodities, and what we have here is a wonderful human being. And he's displayed that by his time here at Hammond. You got a lot of people looking at you now, though. And uh, I remember sending you a picture of my son, Ty, looking at you. The first thing I'll leave you with is remember everything matters, and everybody's looking up to you now. And I know that you'll wear that Birch name across your back well, and whatever school you choose across the front of your chest as well. Number two, be yourself. Be yourself. People are going to try to compare you to other people. Be who you are, because who you are is a beautiful person. So aim true. And last, know it's going to be hard. So when you get there, do your best, give it your all. And if you apply your God given ability, to this game of football, the sky's the limit, buddy. I'm proud of you. I love you. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. We'll wait for you. All right. <laughs> That word that a lot of people don't like. Because when you talk about commitment, you know, people always try to put in a little escape clause with commitment. And so you say, oh, you committed. And so by asking a person, are they committed to something, you basically say, are you all in? No, are you going to give everything you got? Are you going to eliminate excuses? And what commitment is, is they're true to what you said you were going to do long after the feeling has left. People always say, well, I'll try. I'll see what I can do. That's that escape clause. Because they know once you say you're committed, you're creating a certain level of accountability to yourself. You're creating a certain level of accountability to the thing that you're supposedly to do. While we're waiting to come on, we're going to just make sure when Jordan makes his announcement, everybody's going to cheer, right? Because we're all Skyhawks in the air cheering for him.
two to four years, I'll be taking my academic, my athletic time, 